Hey people, back again. It's been a couple of months of absence really on this channel. I'd like to make a few more videos if I get the time, but work and uh, things getting busier has uh, got in the way of, of, you know, I've got three channels on this YouTube so it's kind of hard to keep up with all of them and yeah. Your mails may get lost. I get so much mail on this channel and uh, I try and answer what I can but it's not always possible to answer everybody. Uh, but I, I would like to answer the sort of the most frequently asked questions on this channel, and that's uh, what we've got here. One of those today, and that is how do I make a, like a picture in picture and and you know move that around and and do stuff like that. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the way that I do it. First, you get your original clip and put that in. In this case, we've just got a road. And next, we put the clip that we want to be like the picture in picture clip which will be this and just put that in there, just drag and drop it in if you like over the top. What we want to do is select that and then go up to this little tab here, this little fella and change it to image and wireframe and we see we get this kind of thing happening and if you go right up to the corner, if you can't if you can't see everything you can always make this like a smaller, so say 50% so we can see what we're doing. And you can grab the corner of this image and just drag it down, make it to whatever size you want. So we're going to make it that size for example and just click in the middle of it somewhere and drag it to where you want it. So we'll say we'll have it there. And now you see I'm going to go render that. All right, wait for that to render. Um, so this will basically, once this is rendered, you're going to see that picture moving and that picture moving. And yeah, that, there's your picture in picture. It's simply done. Um, what else you might want to do is you might want to make this video here grow in size over a certain amount of time and sort of take over the whole screen or I don't know what you want to do. You punks out there. <laughs> I better not offend the people watching or listening but uh, you are punks if you're trying to do this stuff you're ruffians you I don't know what I'm talking about I'm just trying to fill in space to be honest until this finishes this audio and this channel is going downhill it is becoming just a ranty little time wasting channel if you're watching you're probably used to that by now now you're putting up with it and hopefully, you know, I could edit this out, I just can't be asked. Alright, we're finished here. And, uh, alright, I don't need to render the audio anyway, what am I doing? Okay, so now we've got this picture, and as we, we can go up there and make it image again, just so it's normal. Okay, so if we play that off now, you'll see that we've got two pictures moving very slowly and dropping frames because my computer's crap but they do they do work uh, now you may want to move that or make that bigger same deal go here image and wireframe uh, now we want to set a keyframe so we want to start the clip say here and here's this little button here is your keyframe button you want to start by adding that keyframe clicking it once and that's kind of where we begin that's where we we start now we go along the timeline here to say the end of the clip and by the end of the clip we want this image to have been enlarged and say take over the whole screen or what have you so we'll, we'll enlarge it, we'll do do what we want the thing to end up on I hope this is making sense and then click keyframe again and then we'll render that and I'll show you what that's done Okay, and now you can see, so hit play, that is growing in size. But yeah, you get the basic idea how that works, I hope. If you don't, email me and I can probably explain it to you. Actually, don't email me because I, I get way too many emails. Just try and figure it out, you lazy sods. 
Uh, insulting my audience again, brilliant. Alright, um, hope that makes some sort of sense. Uh, there are a few other ways you can work. You can, you can say, we'll start there, we'll keyframe there, and we'll move it to say here, down the road. So, at this point, we'll put another one, and you'll see this will go up, get bigger and go up. There's a lot of things you can do. Just keyframing is is just it's, it's it doesn't take that long to learn once you once you've done it you you've pretty much done it. Okay, so that's basically the picture in picture thing. Uh, I may not have explained it very well, but that's that's sort of how you do it, and hopefully you can sort of figure it out and do it as well if you don't know already how to do it. And with that, you can do a lot of things. You can make four images, change this image scale that down to what you want and you can make like a a montage of, of four images running at once or you know however you drag this you can figure it out and uh, accurately you can do it all numerically in here if you want size wise and make it look all nice um, nicely squared up so each image is taking up the same amount of screen uh, lots of things you can just have a big play with it and it's very easy to figure out once you get the hang of it. So, I hope you gleaned something out of that. And, yeah, hopefully it won't be as long to my next video as it was for this one. See you all next time.